Today we're in southern Ohio between the cities of Forest Park and the city of Fairfield at an almost dead mall. I say almost dead because, well, it's almost dead and you'll see why here in a little bit. This mall was once known as Forest Fair Mall. It's also been known as Cincinnati Mills Mall. And more recently, it's been called the Cincinnati Mall. Now, this mall opened in 1989 and was designed to be an upscale shopping experience for the residents of Cincinnati and the surrounding areas. As you're going to be able to see when we go inside, one of the main problems, other than location, is that this mall might just have been a little bit ahead of its time and its shopping experience might have been outside of the range of most of the people who live in this area. And yes, though I did say that this is an abandoned mall, I also said that we're going to be going inside. Because believe it or not, you can still get inside this mall because there are some active portions of the mall. A lot of the outside doors are just left wide open, and there's plenty of easy access. However, as you can see here, a lot of the parking lot and surrounding buildings are pretty vacant. But let's go ahead and start our adventure. Here we're behind the still active Kohl's department store. That is one of the cornerstones of this mall. And we're going to make our way into the abandoned parking garage. While it's roped off, you can see that it's kind of poorly kept these days. In the early years of this mall, when I visited it back in the day, this parking garage was packed wall-to-wall -wall with vehicles. You actually had to use the surrounding parking lots because there were so many people visiting this mall at the time. Now we've had some really hard recent rains and this really isn't indicative of the construction of this facility, just kind of showing you how it is kind of in a little bit of disrepair. Now we're going to go ahead and start making our way through the parking garage Take a look around the area here. Got one sole light left shining down here. And over there you have one of the entrances to, I believe, a place for children to play. Now this is one of the entrances from the parking garage. And you might be saying to yourself that all the lights are on and it actually looks like it could still be up and operational as a complete mall. Well, we're going to take a look inside. Because these doors are wide open, believe it or not. And you're going to get to see actually how beautiful this mall really is. Now the architecture and design of this mall, as you're going to see here, is radically early 90s. I'll see if I can stay quiet while you take it all in. It's beautiful and unusual all at the same time. And while the escalators no longer work, or if they do work, they're just not currently in operation, we still got to make our way upstairs. So let's go ahead and get on up here. And that way I can give you an overview of that courtyard area. Actually, the center courtyard area, because there's other ones throughout the mall.
And again, you can see the extremely festive color palette. And you're going to kind of get your first look at these absolutely gorgeous wood floors that still exist in this place. It's surprising they are in such great condition still. The flying pigs there are representative of the Cincinnati area. It's kind of Cincinnati's unofficial mascot. And you can see the rest of that main central courtyard. The Queen City never looked so good. And as I said before, this mall is actually still open, kind of. There are a couple anchor stores. You have Kohl's and you have Bass Pro Shops. You have a Babies R Us and then that's about it. But the interior of the mall here is still open for local mall walkers. And uh, there are some around here right now. I'm just trying not to get them on video. As we make our way through here, you can see some of those hardwood floors again that are still in excellent condition. And then you can see these absolutely amazing gorgeous skylights that adorned the roof of the facility. I found this little art slash design shop to be one of the more interesting little closed businesses here, though I think it might still be open during certain hours during the week. It was kind of hard to tell because some of the little businesses in here still do have operating hours posted. It's just hard to tell whether or not those hours are current hours or if those are from back in the past. And here's kind of a long shot view from the upper balcony down through the central section of the mall. Now I did say that this mall was somewhat ahead of its time. It's, uh, it was originally anchored by a Parisian store which was kind of a little on the upscale side for the working class neighborhoods that uh, the mall happens to bracket. So it's fun shopping experience to be out here but stuff was way overpriced. Now while hopefully I've shown you some good images of the color scheme of the mall, it's time to take a look at some of the more interesting or unusual pieces of artwork and design that still exist here. Here you have the absolutely famous giant inflatable fish still hanging from the skylight. Still in great shape. And over here you have his slightly sadder little brother. Who's not quite in such great shape. The old indoor catapult still exists as you can see. Try to move around here and give you a little bit better look at that. It's a little ride that was set up for kids and adults alike. There really is nothing sadder than an empty gumball machine. I wonder if it's still any good. Nah, we better just move along. Some of the designs, as you can see in this jungle gym, are straight out of a 
child storybook. All still ready to go. If somebody was to come out here and go ahead and open this mall back up, looks like it's in pretty good shape. As I was in this area here, I was approached by a nosy mall walker who neither appreciated me videotaping the inside of this beautiful mall, nor the fact that Adventure Palm was with me on this trip. Maybe they just don't appreciate good art or Pomeranians. Okay, maybe sadder than an empty gumball machine is an empty food court. Seating's wide open here. If you'd like to stop by, getting service might be a little difficult, so pack your own lunch. And while the world famous media play may no longer be open, it looks like they may have found some new residents to occupy this space. Now, this video is in no way, shape, or form designed to illuminate any of the uh, state of disrepair of this mall. It's understandable since it's been closed for so long. A lot of these would be easy fixes with, you know, a little bit of paint and time and consideration. Because this really is a enormous, beautiful space. Well, I guess you can only see so many closed retail establishments before you figure You've pretty much seen them all. They all kind of look alike. So maybe we should just move on and head on out of here. This is one of the upper exits into the parking garage. And again, you can see how well kept this area actually is. Take a look down here. Alrighty, let's move back outside. Okay, we're back outside, making our way around the far side of the parking garage. We entered the facility through the parking garage, and we kind of came back out on the other side of the parking garage. Pretty much just walking through the entire mall. There used to be an entertainment district in this part of the mall, towards its later years. A couple different bars that were set up. The entrance to those was from the outside. Originally there was an entrance from the inside of the mall to some of the bars, but in its later years this was the only entrance to the actual entertainment section, the different bars that existed at the time. And again this parking lot was packed full of cars back during the prime time of the mall. Well, the only anchor store that still exists of any real worth is Bass Pro Shops Outdoor World. And they do pretty good business here. Take a look around, maybe stop by, buy some fishing or hunting gear. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up like, and I'll see you next time.